This is a series of short videos on PowerPoint 2013, which is the same as PowerPoint in Office 365. It is important to understand as you start watching this tutorial that I will start with the very basic concepts on using PowerPoint and then in later sessions I will go over individual aspects of using PowerPoint from creating a PowerPoint to enhancing it and finally developing it further for presenting it. So let's get started with some of the basic concepts here and keep in mind that you can forward this video to other aspects of it. Each uh, subsequent section it's going to be about five minutes long. So to get started let's go ahead and locate PowerPoint. So the first time that you open PowerPoint you'll be presented with something very similar to this. On the very left hand side here you have the file menu. File menu you have all these different options and then in the bottom you have also have options. From here under options you can further customize uh, settings and you can check those for yourself. Under save you can change the default location where your presentations are going to be saved. Next to the file menu you have all of these different tabs. These are basically the same in all aspects of the office suite whether it is Microsoft Word, Excel and so on but they'll just differ depending on the application. Typically what you have is that the home tab contains the most commonly used functions in PowerPoint that uh, the most as basic stuff as you are getting started and then the insert tab you insert different components in PowerPoint then the design of the PowerPoint transitions animations presentations and then reviewing within each section here under the each tab of the office ribbon you have these sections and you can see them divide like the font section paragraph section and the uh, editing sections and so on and I guess you get the idea at this point on the very top left here we have the quick access toolbar this is a set of tools that you can easily add and remove by simply right clicking on an item here and choose to add it to the toolbar or right click again on it to remove it from the toolbar. Then on the center area here we have the actual slide that you'll be using in this case. Now on the left hand side here you have the individual slides or a preview of all the slides within your presentation. In the bottom here you have a couple other options such as the notes, comments area, and then you also have the different views from your slides. Like you can change it to a slide sorter where you can kind of preview different slides. Now in this case we do not have many of them but you can change and preview them and also you can zoom in and out of your slides. So before I end this first session in PowerPoint 2013 let's uh, go ahead and uh, design a couple slides here just so that we can get started and make this session work. So to click on a title all you have to do is double click here where it says title and a couple of ways to enter this information by the way. Let's type here the title. You can put also a subtitle and then at this point we are ready to insert the next slide. Now to insert the next slide it's, there are a couple of ways of doing it but one of the ways is by clicking here on new slide or we can click here on the left hand side and uh, right click and choose new slide as well. Or you can also do Control M, which will insert a new slide here in our slideshow. So in this case, we'll click here on new slide under the ribbon. And then notice there are different designs that you can pick for your slides. So the most typical one would be this one with title and content. However, you can choose any of those uh, different designs. So click on title and content. And now we can simply insert, notice it'll have the title here. And then you can insert here the different bullets, the different items. Under each bullet, I'm simply typing what I want and then hitting enter to move to the next section. This is basically our first slide. Now, if I wanted to test this first slide and then uh, these couple of slides that I just created, all I have to do is I can either go here under slideshow and then choose to present it from the beginning or I can simply go down here in the very bottom and click on slideshow or I can press F5 on the keyboard to start presenting it. And so far it is not that fancy but at least we have something to present. And this is just for me to demonstrate that we can create something within a matter of a few minutes. Now 
Suppose we are running to a meeting and we had to present this rather quickly and we are not really ready to go with all the pieces and so on, but at least we can have an outline. Now what you can do is you can simply apply a quick design to this and I'll go into this a little bit later into more detail how to apply a specific design, how to change certain components and all that type of stuff to make it fancier. However, in this first session, I wanted to show something that would be easy and useful for you. So if I wanted a specific design, I can just choose any of those designs. And notice you can see a live preview of this as well as I hold the mouse on it. And let's say we want this one. Now at this point, if I were ready to go with this, uh, now notice I'll present it one more time, press F5. And then to move from slide to slide, we can just either move, uh, press the space bar on the keyboard or click with the mouse or use the right keys on the keyboard. Any of those will work. So stay tuned for the other sessions and we'll learn how to go step by step on enhancing the presentation and doing all kinds of other fancy stuff with the presentation.